Getting into making cheese was a real adventure for me. Uh, cheese for me is resonant of the place in which it is made. It's, it's made from simple ingredients, milk and uh, a little bit of salt, thyme, uh, rennet and, and cultures, and sometimes the small micro bacteria, the invisible world in which a lot of people shy away from. These are things you have to embrace. My name is Stephen Lamb and I'm the author of the new River Cottage handbook, Cheese and Dairy. We live in a very vibrant foodie community in and around River Cottage. You can turn 360 degrees and come across a, a, a dairy producer who's doing brilliant, brilliant things. The cheesemaking community have really helped me learn. There are some real food heroes, artisan uh, cheese and dairy heroes, and they're open to telling you their methods. There's a celebration. There's also an enjoyment of the regionalism. You know, the place in which it is made is celebrated, but it's not just geographical. It's the pasture. It's the land, the topography, the terroir, everything has a deeper story than beyond the method. Some of the methods are really unique, like, for example, going slightly gorilla and creating your own blue cheese moulds just by allowing a piece of sourdough bread to age, go off and using that process to get a blue mould culture for your own cheeses, exciting things like that. I don't expect everybody to crack on and make an 18 month year old mature cheddar, but there are stages, there are steps. I really want people to feel encouraged and able to do any part of the book. You can cook with the cheeses. Even if you don't make them, you can source really good cheese and turn them into fantastic recipes. We had some real fun turning amazing cheeses into these wonderful garnishes as well as centerpieces for some of the recipes in the book. Whether you're melting a lovely cheese for a raclette or if you're just making a simple croque monsieur, that classic combination of cheese and ham and lapina, of course, can be spread across a nice flatbread 